going to show you how important the shoulder blades are in a golf swing. Now, the shoulder blade is a scapula blade. It comes like this, like this. Now, as a, you take the club back, this shoulder blade will swing into the spine here, causing an adduction. Now, this left shoulder blade will pull away. It gives you 20 degrees more backswing when this is adducted and this is abducted. You understand? Now, when you come down, this will pull back to the thing and that will pull away. And it's like that. Understand when you stand up. I would like to have you show them about the 70 degree motions of okay. the body and neck, then the addition of the adduction, adduction of the shoulder blade. Okay. Uh, you, okay? All right. Just stand straight up. So if, see, like, if kind of a universal thing with everybody is if I can take my chin and I can turn it 70 degrees that way, 70 degrees that way. Now I can also, see I can, my shoulder blades, I can move them 20 degrees. That's a real palatable joint underneath it's, there. Yeah, it's a non-socket so, joint. It's the most flexible joint in, in the body, in the torso. And see, everybody in golf can turn pretty easily 70 degrees with their body like so. But what, he, what we were talking about just earlier, see, what gives you that 90 degree look or sometimes even more than that see once i get to right here my body the big part of it's all is practically stopped but my shoulder blades is you going to do that by raising the arm it's just making the shoulders go boom. see my arms are pulling my shoulders in a back rotation on the oblique plane in an oblique plane and see i can't do that if i'm locked in here real tight but it's an incredible motion like you look at freddie or anybody they're pulled, boy, they get to right here, and then their body just continues, those shoulder blades. This one pulls away from the spine, and this one pulls towards it. Yeah. That gives you that 90 degree look. See, away is ab, ad is two. The left shoulder pulls away from the spine, giving you 20 degree more arm and shoulder time. Okay? Mm -hmm. But this is what it looked like. Yeah. Boy, you can turn around. See, uh, now my whole back's to the target as opposed to like this. It's in action already. Now, that's a real good shoulder blade action. Okay, swing. And you're not tying them up. You're, you're flexing them up. You're <laughs> softening them up. You're not tense, are you? Oh, no. Like, what you, one of the real dominant hidden things that it's hard to see in your swing and in my swing is, is the shoulders are a secondary force. Right. They're, they just don't have a lot of this and this at all. They're reacting or put into a position by ankles, knees, hips, and hands and arms. See, this motion, the pivot, which we've gone over and over and over, see, it's making my shoulders, my shoulders are reacting to that motion, right? Or the hips and knees. Yeah. yeah, see, this is making them as opposed to making them like a primary force or something that they're just reacting, right? Yeah, they should react, not, not be the primary force. They're re reacting to the arms and hands and the... They, knees and hips. Hmm. See, and that they can. Then you have supple quickness. Otherwise, you have rigid slowness.